This is Lane with the Hercules build video number three. Right now I'm going to show you how we use a small piece of laminate in order to secure the spars, the foam wing, and the wood block on the motor mount into one piece. You, this gives a tremendous amount of strength and helps to spread the forces out of any type of impact or problem. Uh, the, I first mark them to make sure I've got them exactly where I want them and that they're in the alignment with each other. Then in this case I'm using the uh, hot glue, but if you're using hot glue never apply hot glue to the laminate because it sets almost immediately. You want to either use Gorilla Glue or apply the glue to the foam. On the bigger planes, you'll find that your spars won't reach quite to the end. Uh, we have not had any trouble with just adding one of the extra pieces of spar, both top and bottom. And by the time you've got your extreme tape and your laminate, uh, this does not appear to have any weakness to it. Never put the spar from the outside edge to the middle. Always start with the spars tied together at the middle where the forces are the greatest. Now this is a quick review. Notice how the spars all fit together, how there is laminate over the top of the wood blocks. Notice how the middle section and the foam pieces all fit together. And realize too that if you're only building the standard Hercules, that center section won't be there and your spars will be much easier to install. I think you can figure out the differences uh, when I show you the more complex and going to a simpler version. Also, notice that the laminate is back a little ways from the leading edge. If you put it clear up to the edge, there'll be a gap. If you scoot it back, it sits so that you can put some extreme tape over it and it will fit in much better. The corners are where the reinforcement is for both the wire and the shot cord to tie the different sets of spars together to give an incredibly tough fit that will help keep your plane in one piece in an accident. The shock cord is something we started with Crash Test Hobby after seeing that after multiple plane wrecks, planes liked to break from the trolling edge forward to the spar. Uh, one of our customers actually came up with the idea and was putting a shock cord in, some of, in a Roswell, and it was so effective we started using it on all of our planes. This shock cord is basically inserted by putting a slit the entire way around the wing. This, and then across this center section, I have just put a gap where the shock cord will just go across that tail section and squeezes into the slot. This uh, shock cord that we use is extremely strong. I rarely see it break. It usually, if I have any trouble with it, it's because it was cut in combat or other things, but this will keep you, if you hit on the nose of the plane, from breaking the plane in half from the trailing edge forward. What I do is uh, set the, the shock cord up and work it in and working up so that it's tied at the front, knowing that the main forces we're going to run into are going to be across the back of the wing where I want the entire cord in one piece without having any knots or uh, points of weakness. Use a Phillips screwdriver, a small one will help work that string right in and uh, it is an amazing way to add a lot of strength. When you're coming along the leading edge, you're going to run into the blocks that are where your motor's going to mount. Don't put the shock cord under those, put the shock cord so it comes up over them because on the bottom you're going to be screwing the metal plate on. And just blend it in, push the shock cord back a little bit and put it into the slot. And then you will tie a knot in the middle of the front where uh, the forces are actually the smallest in an accident. In some cases, I've had to clean some of the glue out over the top of the wood block on the motor mount because uh, the glue had prevents, uh, has filled in some of the cut I've made for the shock cord. But tie a knot here, 
secure it with a good double or triple knot, cut the ends off, and then just push the knot back into the foam. My basting syringe is full of baking soda, as you can see it spilling onto my table. But uh, I want to put a small amount of baking soda along the seam and it will help to start the cure on the CA glue that I use to seal the shock cord in place. If you get too much, the CA glue will never make it to the shock cord, but will set in the uh, baking soda itself and become hard as stone. So you want to get some there, but you want to also knock it, knock off excess and just try to get it down in with the shock cord. I have seen some people who uh, actually put the baking soda on the shock cord before they insert it into the slot. You can also use Gorilla Glue here uh, and using a little moisture and Gorilla Glue you can get a very fine uh, glue joint along the edge that holds well but it does sometimes expand the gap between the top and the bottom of the wing core. When you're doing this be very careful there's some real harmful fumes that come when you're applying CA glue with the baking soda in place. What you can't see is that I have bands going in order to ventilate for safety's sake.